think it's impossible to not love Tessa the Durbervilles. Thomas Hardy has such a brilliant writing style and I really like the narrative of this story. So as soon as I read the novel, I had to go and find an adaptation. The adaptation that I chose is the 1988 version, uh, 1998 version, I beg your pardon. And this is directed by Ian Sharp, written by Ted Whitehead, obviously adapted from the novel by Thomas Hardy. And Tess is played by Justine Waddle or Waddell. And I think she's pretty much what I envisioned in my head. Not exactly, but there was a very good likeness. So I was very, very pleased with that. Um, we do have a great cast here. Jason Fleming is in it. Um, Rosalind Knight. Particularly brilliant casting. And quite a few people did kind of fit my interpretations of the characters. So I definitely am in no position to complain about that. In terms of the adaptation of the novel, I think it did a pretty decent job. This is three hours, so it does pack a lot into there, which, you know, if you've read the novel, you'll know that there's there's quite a lot to it. It is quite intense and quite in-depth and lasts a long time. And I think the three hours was a good call. I think this might have aired as a two-part TV movie initially. I watched it you know, kind of back to back. Um, so don't quote me on that. But I think the, the development of the narrative is, is really nice. If you're not familiar with what it's about, um, the description from IMDb is as follows. A free-spirited yet naive country girl is caught between her wealthy manipulative cousin Alec and the handsome educated farmer Claire in the Victorian tragedy from novelist Thomas Hardy. Yeah, I love it. Something I particularly like about this is it being called a Victorian tragedy, but it's set in the country, um, partly at, at least. And that's something that's brilliant because usually when you think of a Victorian film or a Victorian novel, it's for very obvious reasons, steam engines and factories and slums. So this is actually quite different to the average Victorian based film out there. And of course, the Victorian based story, thanks to Thomas Hardy. I really like it. Do you have to have read the novel to enjoy this? I mean, absolutely not. No way. It adapts it enough that I think it retains all of the beautiful elements of the novel that I enjoyed. But I would say read it anyway. And I'd say read it first. But maybe that's just me. I just personally don't like watching something and then reading it because I feel like my opinion has been coloured too much by the adaptation. Um, I'd rather visualise the people myself and see what it's like and then watch the adaptation. This is the only adaptation of this that I've seen. So I can't exactly say this is categorically the best adaptation. But if you've seen any others and you're happy to recommend them, please do. Um, I'd be quite keen to see what they're like. Or how they compare but for now I'm quite happy to have seen this one and you know I'll probably watch it again at some point maybe I'll read the novel again at some point I do I really like Thomas Hardy's writing style I think there's just such a beautiful poetic prose a lot of the time really really great stuff really good adaptation